As a result of the Nakba, approximately 160,000 Palestinians remained in what became the State of Israel, where they constituted security risks with suspect loyalty to the state and still today viewed as a fifth column. As such, from 1948 to 1966, Palestinian citizens lived under military rule and were subjected to land seizures, closures, curfews, indefinite house arrests, and required to get permits for travel. While the military regime in Israel ended, the apartheid apparatus remained. Treated as second-class citizens and viewed as a demographic threat, Palestinian citizens of Israel experienced state-sanctioned discrimination in every conceivable facet, including employment, education, health care, redistribution of resources, social welfare, political participation, and land. This demographic threat was expressed in the 1976 Koenig Report, the first official document detailing a policy of containment and marginalization of the Palestinian minority. One of the recommendations in the report was the dilution of existing Arab population centers. Within Zionist discourse, Palestinians are denied their nationality, which is why they're referred to as Arab Israelis, thereby emphasizing their ethnicity and denying their nationality. In order to maintain Jewish racial supremacy, Israel makes a distinction between nationality and citizenship. Jewish nationality is the only nationality recognized under Israeli law which means only Jews benefit from Israel's national institutions, which provide services covering land use, utilities, developmental planning, housing, etc. This means that the civic status of the Palestinian citizens, whose citizenship can be revoked for breach of loyalty, are subordinated to the supra-constitutional value of Jewish supremacy. Palestinian citizens are 20% of the population, but only own 3% of the land, while 93% is either owned by the state or its parastatal organizations, such as the Jewish National Fund, whose constitution stipulates that land acquired may not be sold to any non-Jew. The JNF expounded on this principle by stating that loyalty is given to the Jewish people and only to them and does not have a duty to practice equality towards all of its citizens. Palestinian citizens are blocked from purchasing or leasing land on about 80% of the land in Israel on the basis of their nationality alone. The Jewish trajectory of Israel's identity has become more pronounced recently in the form of a basic law titled the nation state of the Jewish people. Whereas prior constitutional expressions mentioned the democratic aspect, this basic law solely emphasizes the Jewish character of the state and completely omits its democratic function, if any such function existed.